Jochen hey. Walsh from Germany. Our umpire calling for the start of play. And this is a match I'm particularly looking forward to. Of course, this man, Yu Yang Sung, had a very, very successful partnership with Ko Sung Hyung. Saw the best from the World Championships last year. In Wembley Arena. Had a disappointing Olympic Games as far as they were concerned. Oh, goodness me, what a defense. It's um, Indonesia is a nation of fantastic double players. And at the minute, they seems to be struggling a little bit, uh, finding the real top pair uh, after Seto and Nkito uh, kind of went on a holiday after they put themselves. Uh, uh, yes, they did. I mean, there was some reasons for that. A problem with typhoid uh, from Marcus Kido, of course. That's why he missed the... World Championships last year and, you know, injury problems, bad knee, high blood pressure. They left PBSI, the National Federation in Indonesia, and became independent players. And, of course, now Andrew Setiawan is back with the National Federation in the start of this partnership. But I think this is an inspirational move. I fully endorse very it. Much, very yeah. much, very much. It's good to see. And I suppose the same can be said of the Korean pair as well. Yeah. You can say it's also a good way of showing that, you know, PBSI probably gave a lot and looked on good chances to Kido and Zedevan. And now he's giving something back um, by starting a new partnership. So, good to see. Good start by the Koreans here. Well, I thought yesterday the way this Korean pair disposed of the number six seeds, Hashimoto and Hirata, I thought that was particularly impressive because, of course, you and I had sat and watched the second round encounter with that Japanese pair against Chai Biao and Zhang Nan, and we were very, very impressed with the very form much, of, of the Japanese pair, and yet they got blown away in that opening game by these Koreans. I actually had such Japanese pairs are kind of small favorites after watching that yeah. match and, um, but that just uh, tells you the quality of uh, the Korean double with you and Jin that's long and seems to be struggling a little bit in the front court here in the start of made some easy and, mistakes. And that yeah. to me is uncharacteristic because you've already talked about the fact that he's a good worker on court but he loves to come forward and I thought at the height of their powers Seti won playing with Marcus Kido when they won the World Championships of course in Kuala Lumpur in 2007 and then a year later the Olympic gold medal I thought Seti won was in a class of his own and being able to read the game from the front of the court. Yeah. I thought he was absolute supremo. Yeah. So he needs to find his rhythm here. Yeah. Um, so the score called struck above the waist. Called on Yi Young Sung. Three, nine.
Jakobsen Berg of Denmark, our service judge, making that call. Try to just uh, control the front court by just blocking and using soft shots. Um, I think that's gonna be. Oh, <laughs> no, that's much better. <laughs> that's the sort of <laughs> interception we're used to yeah. seeing from Hendras the dear one. Look at that. First, then the second. So often, just seems to have his racket in the right place at the right time. But a little Over. slow on that one. That's why he mishit it. Ten, five. Oh. Over. Six, ten. A little bit more effective now in the nations. the Korean is concerned, it's just about the ideal start. Ken Kyun Jin, Korean coach. World Championship in the Stolz Bronze Medalist. Yeah. Yeah. Staged in Copenhagen way back in 1983. Yeah. Yeah. So champion, yeah. Ha Tai Kwon. Ha Tai Kwon's here as well. Yeah. We've seen him on the coach's bench several occasions throughout the tournament. He seems to be more with the ladies' numbers, I think. So, but they were a very good pair. Um, and then, of course, Ha Tai Kwon went into the started playing with Kim Dong Lee. Yeah. But yeah. it's an injury, I think. Um, yeah. Six. I remember watching that final between, um, I think they played uh, Michael Sugo and Jonas Christensen in the final of the All England. Can't play here. Fantastic. And both these Korean players have been in Super Series tournament finals this year, but neither of them have actually won a title. Of course, this man, Shin Bek Chul, reached the final of the Malaysian Super Series playing with Cho Gung Woo. And he won a couple of finals with Ko Sun Kyung, India and Singapore. So all the signs were that they should make a very good pairing. See, that's that's better from the Indonesians, you know. Uh, first, Hassan, the drop shot from the back, and then the tier one just blocking it. I, I don't think they, they can get through the, the the Koreans, but just hitting hard. They seem to be very good at their defense today. Uh, what normally Korean pairs uh, are very good at them. I tried that myself a lot of times. <laughs> Is that so good at killing pressure on? Um, so they're constantly moving you out of balance. Um, so you need to take the patience. But if there's one that can do it, it's uh, Teddy one. So. vision. See where the gap is. Yeah, we becoming a bit fast and furious and still had the awareness to see the big gap across court. Oh, they're right back in this now, aren't they? 
Seven points adrift at one stage. Ah! No, there's only three points Ten. in it. It's one of the things I like with City on. It's so calm. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it never seems to panic. No. Just must be this was to play with. Clever, clever play. 11, 14. Using the game well. See, our sun smash is so steep. You know, it's impossible just to, to get back. You know. Controlling the front court, getting the lift, and then they're working uh, with good variation, good angle smash from the back, and then they're so good at the net, so they can pop up there and put it down the front. <laughs> oh no! I don't believe it! What a rally! The trickery. There between the legs, got himself out of trouble. I think they were concerned that the Korean pair may have double hit the shuttle, but it wasn't called by the umpire. They kept their focus. Oh, they weren't rally anyway. And here they are. It's just one point in it. Look at that. Well played by the Greens. They're now standing a little bit further. They, they, they kind of realize that they have to get over the net to, to stop the, the long row of points that they need to have now. Serve is short. Good luck. Mm, did that come off the frame? Yeah, it did. Yeah. You see, uh, he was down in his knees, so it's actually. <laughs> he was waiting for that hard shot, but uh, the frame kind of fooled him. Yeah. But it's uh, the Indonesians have the upper hand right now. Just can't quite get back on level terms, yeah. not yet anyway. You see son, it's the right kind of plan, yes, just made a few mistakes there. Five. 
That's 158 miles per hour. Nice, Korean pair following up in the net now, closing the net, taking the net away from the Indonesians. And it doesn't seem to like to be in defense actually, so um, smart play, you won the uh, shin. <laughs> it looks so easy, yeah, but it's not. <laughs> But it, I think the point you were making a little earlier about the good smash from Mohamed Hassan is bringing his partner into yeah. play at the front of the court. So whilst, of course, it's Sepia one who's playing the winning shot, we shouldn't forget how it's been built up and yeah. set up for him. Definitely not. Well, that, with Hassan hit a smash a little bit, you know, flatter than that, uh, Sepia one wouldn't be able to get into the uh, so. point opportunities here. Oh, the Korean pair. Three of them. Okay. Oh, falls back the Indonesian side and therefore the opening gate to Shinbit Chol. And Yu Young Sun. 21 17 confirms the umpire. Well, for a blistering start by the Koreans, made to work very hard for it in the end. Uh, it's clear to see who's, uh, <laughs> who's the one that's been spoke to. Yeah. Um, that's, that's something, and if, if I was on the other side, I would use that against them. You know, if you can get kind of, kind of whisper to see who they're talking mostly to, if you could get Shin out of, you know, become a little bit nervous, or, uh, yeah. you know. And uh, it would be easy to blame whose fault it is, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So. Of course, Bit Jolt really uh, not as experienced in men's doubles discipline, or not in, hasn't, hasn't enjoyed as much success in men's doubles as Yu Young Sung. Counting his talent. Ah! Couldn't help but think, though, as Kenki and Jim was busy talking to his players there. I wish I'd learned a bit of Korean <laughs> language because I actually played a mixed doubles with him once. We Did you? reached the quarterfinal of the Korean Open. I think my partner had fallen to pieces or something. And 
I think what he was trying to tell me was that I was too tall and I had to crouch down low. I couldn't see past me. <laughs> but it was great fun. Great yeah. fun. I, uh... I think, I think he was the first time I played uh, the, the, uh, during the championship, world championship. I think as he was there too, and I play, he played all three of us. Kang Hyun Jin. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Wow. So he was a good singles player as well. Mm. Oh, that's nicely done. Over. You know, right at the start of the match, I was telling you that I wasn't quite sure when these two pairs had played together previously. I thought this was their first tournament together. I've been reliably informed by a colleague of mine, Don Hearn, in South Korea, that the matches they played previously were in Thomas Cup qualifying Asian zone matches, and that's how these two pairs have results on their career. But this, I think, if I'm correct, is their first ever individual tournament together. Anyway, that's uh, very nice of Don to let us know exactly where we went wrong on that. It's uh, nice to know that there's people out there searching for us. Oof, that's good, isn't it? So good at getting up and getting this deep. It's, it's very oh, difficult seven. to be in defense when a guy can hit a shot like that. Because you have you can't help going back a little bit in defense. And, you know, so yeah. but I must say the Koreans are kind of controlling the front court right now, so it's not that many dishes they get. Uh, the Indonesians. And when and when they get it, it's kinda of like being, they've been forced. So um, we'll see what uh, that they can come up with to change that. see the battle for the front court there. All the way up there, all the players. Turned by you. Very difficult Five. shot. Has to be perfect or set here and we'll, we'll probably kill it. Six, nine. Both pairs are really good right now to put pressure on the service situation, so you, you, you're not really seeing the rallies right now. Um, 
difficult to come, to come away from the pressure of the pass. Oh. Seven, five. Nothing worse than playing against a guy that can, you know, make that good push or drive, and then at the same time being able to control it, uh, the yeah. short one, because you really don't know where to be in your defense. Uh, a little bit the same as uh, a co can, uh, can do from Malaysia. Um, keeps you guessing all the time. Is it going to come a drive or is it going to come a drop shot? Yeah. It's a good thing to train. Conditions coming way bit out of the service situation right now. Control just to clip that down. He was going forward, change direction to move back for the flick serve. Oh, the control of the racket. Oh, that shot. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, service fault called. Struck above the waist. Oh, sure. Nick Chalk really not happy about that at all. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, that's, it's so difficult. You know, and it's not a bad return. It's a very good return. <laughs> it yeah. still goes up. And, and, uh, kind of like Tristan record hit. And see if you can see there. Oh, it's a fantastic return. <laughs> it's yes. Great, great spin. <laughs> yeah. And still he gets it. <laughs> see, we're going into this service situation uh, mode again. Um, yeah. And that's because things are probably getting a little bit tense now. Well, I know uh, the Koreans have been thinking about new pairings for a long time because, of course, Jung Jae Sung retired after the Olympic Games getting his bronze medal. Lee Yong Day. And there's been a lot of speculation as to how the pairs will be put together. Shin Bek Chol has been tried with numerous different partners in recent years. But this looks highly, highly promising. It does, it does. It's not the first time the Koreans have done this. I remember when I played, it was Kim Dong Moon and Ha Tuk Kwan Lee Dong So and Lee Sung. And they kind of moved it around a few times yeah. and then suddenly it was there. Uh, and then they had two world uh, class doubles. Um, yeah. So it also takes time. I must say, both, both pairs they look really promising. Yes. I like their style of play. They're very effective. And I think also, I, I can see with the players, there's a new sort of freshness and appeal as far as the players are concerned, because, I mean, obviously, Sepia One and Marcus Kido were, were playing together for so many years. They played together as juniors, you know, and yeah. after such a long time, you need a bit of a break just to freshen yourself up and sort of, you know, think, ah, oh, this is exciting and new. I've mm -hmm. Different partner, perhaps more possibilities, perhaps just different possibilities. You, yeah. can, you can say, you know, uh, again, we go back to the top one, you know, you, when you won Wales, you won the Olympics, you know, maybe it's difficult to find a new target. And yeah. Just sit here and without knowing him personally, it seems like a little bit more relaxed. <laughs> yeah. Guy, where you say Kido seems like he's a little bit more uh, extroverted, uh, yeah, yeah. show thing. And if he doesn't have that extra thing to play for, then maybe yeah, it takes over. Mm. Um, which is probably why he's he's playing some mixed double at the minute. Um, yeah, uh, to to motivate himself to try something different. Yeah. 
tried to scoot over, of course, playing with his sister. Here Bernadette. Oh, the next star isn't doing very well indeed. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Well, that is extraordinary play from the Koreans. They look to be in all sorts of trouble. Okay. Well. Weathered the storm. Yeah, fantastic. Defense. Look at that. Way out of position. It's always been uh, expertise of Koreans, so well explosive and always in balance. Um, and always tremendous fighters on court. Uh, always. Good look here, maybe not the best play by our son. Um, couldn't have done a little bit better with that one, but again, set on, calm, keep moving, let's go on, you know, must be really nice for him to, to have a gold medal, <laughs> Olympic yeah. winner, supporting you like that, um, I think it would be easy for him to turn around and say it's as fault, you mm. know, uh, but uh, he's, but, uh, I think a lot of people could learn from, including myself. <laughs> 13, 15. Mohammed Hassan himself, a bronze medalist at the Asian Games. Playing with Alvin Julianto. Both of them obviously okay, success in their own rights. Back at 15 all the had he went uh, had a go at uh, Hassan there, uh, Zetiman, he would they wouldn't be back now. So uh, just shows you that keeping calm and yeah. leaving this is the way forward. Very effective play by the Greens. Fast, quick on the double. Doesn't give time for the Indonesians to get settled at all. Oh, they sense the danger at 15 all. Suddenly. Four straight points, and once again, it's kind of a different complexion. And now, five straight points and five match points.
to take it the first time of asking. And just when we thought it was getting very, very interesting at 15, all the Koreans up the intensity. A couple of errors from the Indonesians, and it's all over. But what an exciting prospect this Korean pair is. Umpire confirming the score. 21, 17, 21, 15. My first individual tournament together. A premier Super Series. Shin Bek Cho and Yu Yang Sung through to the final. 21, 17, 21, 15. And that, of course, means that they will meet the number three seeds, Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Bu Hyong, in tomorrow's final course, Ku and Tan, two time former champions, who have broken Danish hearts here this afternoon by disposing of the number one seeds, Matthias Bowe and Carson Mohensen. In three thrilling games, having saved two match points. That was the match that got us underway here on semi-finals day at the Onyx Denmark Open.